Now to a developing story, a bold first step by the new interim CEO at Chicago Public Schools, suspending that no-bid $20 million contract, which triggered a federal investigation. But board members continue to defend their vote to approve the deal two years ago. CBS 2's Derek Blakely was at today's board meeting. In his very first meeting as interim school CEO, board VP Jesse Ruiz barely had time to sit down before revealing his first decision. As of today, I am suspending the soup's contract. Federal prosecutors are investigating the $20 million contract with Wilmette-based Soups Academy for coaching principals, a deal awarded without competitive bidding. Almost all uh, of our contracts are subject to uh, of public uh, bidding or request for proposal. But this one wasn't because of what school CEO Barbara Bird Bennett told the board. We were told that, that they were the only vendor that could provide this particular need, the coaching and mentoring that they provide. And the board believed it, even though Bird Bennett formerly worked for Soups. Obviously, we have an investigation and questions are, new questions are being raised, so I thought it's prudent that we take a pause and suspend the contract at this time. As a target of the investigation, Bird Bennett has been forced into a leave of absence. Ruiz halted awarding of any new no-bid contracts, but insists the Soups deal, which he voted for, wasn't a mistake. Given the information I had to, at that time, I was comfortable making that vote. More than $12 million has already been paid out on that $20 million soups contract. Of course, CPS also faces a $1.1 billion deficit for the next budget year, which begins in July. Jesse Ruiz chaired the State Board of Education for seven years, and now City Hall hopes his state capital connections could help squeeze a CPS bailout from Springfield. And by the way, Rob and Kate, while he is interim school CEO, he will not be taking any votes on the school board. He's on hiatus from those duties. When Barbara Bird Bennett first presented this option, did she, was she clear about the fact that she also worked for Soups at, at one point? The board members say that that was revealed. They knew about her association with Soups Academy, which makes it even more curious that the deal didn't get more scrutiny. Yeah, because she was transparent from the get-go. They say they, they were aware of her association. All right. Derek, thank you.